why did I do that? <laughs> no, no, cut that. <laughs> so we decided to upgrade to a super automatic espresso maker. And it is the Philips 3200 with Latte Go. It grinds the beans, holds them in a hopper, um, there's an adjustment, you can adjust it. We just left it at the factory default. And then it has a UV protected and airtight seal to keep the beans fresh. And this is the beauty. This machine makes espresso, coffee, an Americano, cappuccino, latte macchiato, and also dispenses hot water if you want it for tea. And there's... <laughs> Virtually no cleanup. It's just wonderful. It will grind the beans Inside it pushes it packs them like a barista would tamp it down into the uh, filter basket pushes it up sends the the hot water through it at um, the pressure the correct pressure for a, an espresso and then this ingenious little milk frother no more wands that get all gunky with milk because we've had those before and they're a pain in the butt to clean this somehow they have managed to make some kind of contraption that's all dishwasher safe by the way um, that holds the milk and the steam shoots through here at high speed and circulates and then comes out here into your cup as a foamy milk and um, you put this in the dishwasher when you're done with it. You just rinse it. It's wonderful. Um, so this, this machine makes a single shot of espresso or a double shot, a single shot of espresso, uh, coffee or double coffee, an Americano or a double Americano, a cappuccino, a latte macchiato. And the adjustable, you can adjust the strength you can adjust how much water and how much milk, steamed milk or foam. So all of these are adjustable. We, the factory settings, when we first got it, we just used the factory settings. They were delicious. Oh, by the way, the beans I'm using are Lavazza Super Crema. I saw online, I watched someone get this and unbox it and set it up and uh, they use this at their workplace every day. So I'm gonna have my first cup of cappuccino and I'll show you what I do. Get my milks. I think Darren, you also want a cappuccino? I would like to have a cappuccino, please. So I'll fill up the milk thing up. And it doesn't matter if you put more milk in there than you need. I'll just fill it up because I think I'm going to have a latte later. Maybe a latte later. And all you do is just hook it on. It's so easy. And by the way, the, the spout, the double spouts, it comes down or up just depending on how high your glass is. So like if you had a, like a to-go cup for morning commute, you can put it all the way up. I, I couldn't get a travel mug in here. It's too tall. If you had a mug, it need to be under six inches, I think. Probably five and a half would fit. So. It self cleans and self purges itself, so you don't have to do anything. Once you turn it on, I'll show you. It'll flush the system with um, water and then start heating the water. So you'll hear it. That's true. It grinds it as you make it. So it's the beans are kept whole until you need them. It's Shh. very nice. They're always fresh. Always fresh. That's the sound of it pulling water through it in the system. You see it. Cleans uh, its spouts. It does this uh, when you first turn it on, and it also does it when it shuts itself off. It'll get rid of all the water in the system. And I didn't go through the features. The water tank is right here and pulls out straight. And there is a Aqua Clean filter. Um, if you have hard water like we do, we have super hard water with a lot of calcium. This will keep you from having to descale the machine. 
In fact, I should fill this up. This is going to tell me I need more water. We yeah. also use filtered water in here because I just, I, it's, our water is so hard. Well, we had it for the other coffee machines, so we had this filter. And, you know, for drinking, we can use it too. You don't have to though, you, you can use just tap water in this. You can, and uh, that's what the aqua filter does. The aqua filter in there keep, um, removes the calcium carbonate. So it's really easy just to, and then this told me I had the water tank out. It was a little red light seat. And the other thing I wanted to mention, since it's super automatic, is that this tray unit comes out, it collects the water, and it also collects, oh, I have some espresso pucks. These are used, so this is where it dumps the uh, espresso puck after you've used it. And then the indicator light will tell you to clean this, and I'm going to go ahead and empty it because we're going to make some coffee and see how the liquid... There's a lot of liquid in there. It might tell me to dump that too. But I'm just going to empty this. So the, the reservoir is, is very large, which is nice. Um, it goes, it's in here. It goes all the way back here. So this gets pretty full of water. And whenever it fills, this... I guess this little lever here it pops up. It pops up and it's a, it's a floater. It's a floater and it will pop up and you can see it pointing it poking out of there so you know when it needs to be. I hadn't intended to do this. The water needs to be dumped. There's more water than I thought. You just kind of rinse it. So we've had multiple cups of coffee. And this is, we've only emptied this a couple of times now. It, uh, it really only fills when it's cleaning. It cleans before it starts and it cleans with itself when it automatically turns off, which is after about what, 10 minutes of no use or 15 minutes of so. no use. Yeah, I think so. It yeah, really it is It slides back in and then it tells you it's ready to go. Um, so let's. Once everything's lit, it means you can make whatever you want. So the these, coffee, oh sorry, go ahead. These lights are all, when it's ready to go and you're ready to make coffee, all of these lights will be on and not flashing. If anything's flashing, it means it requires some attention somewhere, yeah. or it's not ready. So this thing is so easy to use. And like I said, the grind is adjust, the grind of the, the bean is adjustable. The strength of the espresso uh, puck is adjustable. The amount of water that you're going to pull through uh, any drink that you have is adjustable and the amount of milk that if you have a milk drink is adjustable so I think it's to use the steamer and Darren has this pre-adjusted he likes the strongest bean strongest uh, coffee or espresso and the, the highest amount of water but not the highest amount of milk this is the default. So how do you change it? You just t touch it. That's highest amount of milk, lowest amount of milk, medium. Factory default is 222 on everything. Okay. And then your start button is flashing. All you do is hit the start button. And then the so why do you keep this up so high? I just don't want the milk clogging up this. I don't know. No reason. I just, if it's down here, I think the milk will touch it, splash on it, and I want to keep it.
steamed milk, steam frothed milk. dumping the used espresso puck into the bin. And then when that stops blinking, it's done. Now it's ready to go again. Yep. And there's, oops. One or two? Uh, just one. There's Darren's espresso. That'll be, <laughs> that'll be 550, please. See the foam? Layer of foam. Nice foam for a cappuccino. Just getting the sweetener down there. I always stir my cappuccinos because I don't like. Mm. Is it good? Oh, it's delicious. So good. <laughs> so could you do, like, could mm. you add a, another shot of espresso if you wanted to? Yeah, you can make a double cappuccino. Yeah, if you wanted to add another shot of espresso, oh, that's not strong enough. You would just hit that and go. What did See, you just hit? Espresso one. If you hold it down, it'll go espresso two. So I'm just going to add An another. An espresso two would be two shots. Two shots. Or if you put two little espresso cups. I'll show you. I'll do that. Um, so this is not strong enough. I want another shot of espresso. Um, it's so easy to do. So if you're, if I'm making a cappuccino and I want a double shot of espresso, this is, this is, how would I do it? That's how you do just it. Just like we just did. Yeah. So okay. if it wasn't strong enough on, and you had it at the highest setting, the, the strength of the grind, if you had it at the highest setting, you make your cappuccino and it's not strong enough for you, you just put it back under and add another shot of espresso. Mm, that's good. But so a cappuccino has a one to one ratio of espresso to frothed milk. This is a two to one. This is this doesn't taste right to me because I like the one to one ratio of a cappuccino. Uh, so I. It's good, but I, I wouldn't do this. This is your drink, by the way. <laughs> OK, so what else does it make? It makes espresso, which I will show you. So if there's two of you and you're both in a hurry and you want, I'm just going to remove this so you can see better. And you want to, you want a double shot of espresso or you want two espressos times two. It's either a double shot in one cup like this, or it's two. the beans. It's telling you what it's going to make. Now it's doing the pull. With the hot water through the espresso puck at high pressure. Should be that one crema. And 
And this is a true double shot, so it's going to do it twice. So now it's going to empty that. It's Puck. blinking number two now. So now it's going to do the second. <laughs> Places when you when they do a double shot, they will only use one espresso puck. They'll pull water through it twice to get it, and I think that's cheating. You're not getting the full strength. This is a true doppio. Oh right! If it was in one cup, it would be a doppio. Right. And some places just send water through the same puck twice to give you a doppio. There it is. This is two. Let me get the little cups. The presentation is everything. And we did not buy new espresso cups. We've had these from our old espresso machine. Look at the crema. Beautiful crema. Tasty. Cheers. <laughs> mm. So smooth. It's so smooth. It's really I don't drink good. this with sugar because I love the... I like the, the sugar. I like it the way it is. Mm. That's really good. No coffee, no drip coffee ever tastes like this. So the number one on here means it's just going to make... Single shot. One shot. And it's going to come out both of them. Yes. But it's going to be just one shot. And if you do two, it's going to do like you did. It'll, it'll basically do it twice twice so this is a coffee this is a coffee and I with which is weird because they have a coffee two, and two, they have two. Americano usually uh, in a coffee shop you either get as an espresso based coffee shop you get espresso or you get an Americano they don't have a setting called coffee they just they'll give you an Americano which is just an espresso shot with water with hot water and I, that just tastes vile to me. Okay. But this okay. coffee tastes good. Yeah. What does it mean? One and two. Two shots of espresso. It'll do the whole thing twice or just the espresso portion? The whole thing twice. Just like it does with this. So I could make two cups of coffee at a time? Yeah. You could put two side by side. Okay. So this is just one. This is just one with the uh, factory default setting, the medium, the medium setting. I should call it the medium setting. Medium number or uh, strength of bean and medium amount of water. And you see the uh, the cup on the Americano label is a lot larger that that's how much more water is going into the americano as opposed to the coffee still one espresso puck in this coffee and one espresso puck in this americano but the amount of water is considerably different and this if you're just having a regular cup of coffee and look at the crema no coffee has crema like that so that's a single mm taste it's really good we gotta drink all these they're getting cold <laughs> oh by the way you can adjust the temperature as well now that tastes like coffee yeah that tastes like regular coffee i think that i would that that's a little that's not quite enough i would actually double that take three <laughs> sorry we had some music playing in the background so we're redoing this I wanted to mention that the hot water function, if you wanted to make a cup of tea and you press the hot water, it's not going to come out the dual, um, the dual uh, hot water heads. It's going to come out the steam wand where this is where it froths milk. So align your cup over here. Take your milk container off and hot water will come out here if you needed hot water for tea. So the hot water spout is where the milk hangs. It's where the milk... Uh, container actually hangs on that right that's interesting and then hot water for the the heads is forced out of here through high pressure that's why it won't 
you won't use this hot water. You use it. This is just a, a regular spout. The other thing is that not only does it take, this machine takes ground whole bean, or it grinds whole beans, there is also a spot where you can put a scoop of ground coffee. Like we have a lot of ground coffee to use up, but I don't know that I'll ever use it. Uh, but the machine comes with a scoop. You will put one scoop in here and shut it and it will compress it like it had just ground those uh, whole beans and you would make your coffee from there. But if you're using the ground functionality, you have to tell it that you put in ground coffee. So you would press and hold the bean indicator right here until the little picture of the scoop um, is illuminated. And then you would go from there and make whatever drink you wanted to make with ground coffee. Um, so I'm going to show you the brains of the system now. Turn the machine off. It purged. I'm going to remove the water tank. And just set it aside. Turn this to the side. And the amazing part of this is behind the door number one. Monty Hall. Tell us what we got. We have the brew head group. This is called the brew group. See the push sign? This is the brains of this machine. And um, you would just pop this out and come over to the sink. You can kind of tell there's ground coffee or grounds here. Um, inside there, water is forced through at high pressure and it... Anyway, the only maintenance you have to do to this is once a week, you just rinse this with warm water. I'm not going to do it now because I, I have it on the calendar when to do this. It, it, you don't hurt anything. You rinse the whole thing and you just let it drip dry. Um, there are pictures, but gosh, they're hard to see because it's on black, but they're raised. And then... Um, so not focused. Yeah, it's not going to... Uh, it doesn't matter. You rinse this once a week with warm water and then let it drip dry. Yeah. Okay. And the other piece that you have to do to this... So the machine comes with this little tube of lubricant. And every two months, you're going to lubricate the areas that it tells you. I'm not even sure where it gets lubricated. But there's a couple spots. I know one is on the bottom. It's along this thing. And one is on the side. I just don't know where. But every two months, you're going to use this and lubricate it. That is the only maintenance you have to do to the brew group, which is amazing because this is the, the guts of the machine. Does that Can that be put in the dishwasher? No, this is not dishwasher. You just rinse it with warm water okay. and let drip dry. And then we're going to put it back in. I think it's set. And when I turn the machine on, it will tell me if it's not aligned properly. It'll say it's not, but I, I'm pretty sure that is. And the machine will tell you when to change the AquaClean filter. Um, the light's blue right now, and it'll turn to orange and blink when it's it needs a clean filter. When it needs a new uh, filter, it'll turn orange and blink. The so I said the uh, milk container can go in the top rack of the dishwasher and this, this uh, base tray can go in, in the dishwasher as well. Not, not, the, not the stainless steel, um, but these plastic pieces can all go in the dishwasher. They're dishwasher safe. So here's the indicator, the blue indicator on AquaClean means it's doing its job. When this flashes orange, you need to change that right away and if you neglect to change it right away, it'll just turn off. And then this light will turn on, which is calc clean. And that means you have to descale this machine. And there's a solution that Philip sells. It is the only solution you can use to descale this. And the, the process I read through it uh, involved process. So you basically they said, you don't want to do this. You don't want to have to go through this process. Buy yourself enough AquaClean filters and replace it when it says, I think it's like every, even if it doesn't tell you, the booklet said 
replace it every three months. And now I'm going to make a latte macchiato because I, I, this is the one drink I haven't tried. So you just keep that in the fridge? I, yeah, I, I, if I know I'm going to use more milk, I keep it in the fridge. I want to try the macchiato and I'm not going to do it with the, I want a stronger coffee and I want more of it and I will leave the milk alone because I, I think it pulls enough milk as it is and is it focus? I doubt I'll need extra milk. So you pumped it up all the time. Uh, strength and water, yes. Not as I left the milk alone. High, 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 medium, high, high, high medium. medium. Okay. Our friend Sweet Carol loves lattes, so this is why I'm trying to figure out. Ratio of uh, you're moving the cut. Do you have to do that? No, or? you don't have to. I just I don't like it getting on the pretty stainless edge. Right? <laughs> um, the ratio is two thirds, one third in a latte, two thirds milk to one third um, espresso. So it is a a more diluted drink than the cappuccino, which is a one to one ratio. So we'll see. Yep. I'm gonna taste this. I may want another shot of espresso, but we'll see. Then it becomes a then it be, You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Why even bother? There but, it is. Yeah. So it's this is all milk. So this is the amount, and we'll see. Okay. Cool. And with my milk drinks, I do like sweetener. I didn't have a milk drink earlier, so. I usually drink one. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, it just tastes like sweetened foamy milk. It's nice, but it's not strong enough for me. So we're just going to put another shot of espresso in it. So it'll be more cappuccino-like. It really is amazing. I mean, you just push the button, push some buttons, and out comes <laughs> Coffee. It's the, it's, it's magic. <laughs> it's magic. It's wonderful. It's uh, oh my gosh. It's super fresh. It just everything it's is so so fresh. good. It is so good. So do you like it? Do you like the machine? Are you glad you got it? I am ecstatic. I love this machine. Um, I saw the price drop, uh, I think before Black Friday, I saw the price drop on Amazon about $100. So I was like, whoa. So you got this on Amazon. I got it on Amazon. Yeah. Um, and it's not, it's, it is a consideration. It's not the cheapest coffee maker in the world. Mm. 
One more shot. <laughs> Watching YouTube, I, I saw the reviews for this and uh, I saw some videos and yeah, the videos from uh, baristas actually at coffee shops were like, this is amazing, this is what I want in my home. Um, just the convenience of it. I, I don't, a real espresso machine, the, the, the manual ones, you have to tamp, the, you have to grind the beans. You gotta tamp them into their little um, container filter basket. And it just puts coffee all over the place. It's so messy. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, it's messy, and it's not guaranteed because there's an art to making a good shot of espresso, and that's why they charge so much at Starbucks and coffee shops. And, and we're not coffee connoisseurs. No, we we're just, not. We, I mean, we want it to be good. We, want, we know when it's not good, you know, generally. And this is, this is perfect. We don't have the experience to make it and spend the time. We don't have the inclination to, make the, to take the time to make it. So this is just a perfect compromise. Absolutely. I saw it. It's it, it remained um, six ninety nine ninety five from before Black Friday, slightly before Black Friday, uh, on, Amazon. on Amazon and Best Buy. Um, so I was watching at a couple of different places to see if I could get a good deal, and I guess that was the best it could do. It remained that price. It's remained that price since after Christmas, and I we finally decided to get it. I purchased it through Amazon, and the very next day. This unit is a hundred more dollars. They raised the price back up to seven ninety nine ninety nine. You got lucky. Um, I got lucky. <laughs> it retails for a thousand nine hundred ninety nine. I've never seen it at that price, even when it came out. When it was brand new, it was eight ninety nine. Uh, right now, it's seven ninety nine at Amazon. And there's a lot more expensive ones. Uh, if you if you Google this, Philips thirty two hundred Latte Go. There, it'll show you the other models. They are way more expensive. They start at a thousand and go up. Um, and the reason is they are way more customizable than this machine. This machine is a low, medium, high, and no more. We don't want customizable. I don't need. Don't need yeah, that. I don't need to tell it to take five seconds to pull the water through and over the grinds. I, I, I just need a basic. This is. What you would get at Starbucks. Yeah. And we should say that and that's all this, I want. We should say that this is uh, December, or I'm sorry, this is January, January. 2021. Uh, I hope it lasts a long time. And I'm going to enjoy, we are going to enjoy our wonderful coffee drinks. It's coffee time. Coffee time. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Bye, Heidi, Chris, Bye. Lily, Cam, Taco, Shiva, <laughs> or Shiva. I don't know the cat's name. I don't know how to pronounce it, but bye Jarmans, bye clap Jarmans. Bye. Bye. So I think I will have a slice of rum cake. What? <laughs> With what? my latte. Yes. I found a recipe on all recipes for golden rum cake. And this is the second one I've made. The first one was so delicious that we wanted another one. I can tell you, this is one of the best rum cakes I have ever eaten. Better than Tortuga? It is better than Tortuga. Wow. It is, it's rummy and moist. It's, it's super good. It's very, you really can taste the rum in this. And it's, some of the Tortugas, you don't really taste the rum. It's perfect with cappuccinos. Qua? No. Yeah. Qua. No, espresso. Espresso is yeah. really good with espresso. That's the, oh, it, my goodness. Yeah, it's super, super good. So, yeah, there you go. Unfortunately, we don't have a machine that can make cakes for us automatically. <laughs> That's, that machine is called Gerald. <laughs> but this, was, this is a really easy recipe because it uses uh, Duncan Hines yellow cake mix. And then it um, has all kinds of little additions. Where'd you get it? Uh, allrecipes.com just golden rum cake golden rum cake it's the highest rated and you put you added nuts so it's a
Uh, it says to put walnuts. I like. Oh. I do pecans because oh, we're okay. we're in Texas after all. Oh, after all. Okay. Okay. Bye.